skull. It's a female. It's about as big as females get. Males get a bit bigger than this one. Um, about another, oh, I don't know, 20% bigger. Males, males will get bigger than this one. Um, but this was a part of a mass stranding on the Oregon coast in 1979 near Florence, Oregon. A whole pod of sperm whales uh, was found on the beach and the Burke Museum managed to get some part of each one of those sperm whales. This is uh, one of the biggest skulls we got. We got six skulls of this size. It's the biggest nightmare of my year. Okay, we've got to coordinate usually about six people, um, all fairly healthy, no bad backs or bad knees or anything. Uh, so we can all grab onto a part, not just any part, but a solid part that'll bear weight. And we figure these things weigh probably about 300 pounds a piece, maybe a little bit under. Um, but the, the toughest part isn't just the amount of weight, it's that it's all centered in a weird way. You've got to be bending over when you lift, um, things you shouldn't be doing. We're in a crammed space upstairs when we're moving from the collection area out front so we don't have a lot of room to maneuver. And obviously if it breaks and slips, you end up with more than just, you know, her fingers, the specimens are fairly fragile. So it's the worst of all worlds. They're really heavy, really bulky, and really fragile. It's like moving these things is the worst part of my year. Meet the mammals is the best part of the year. Okay, we get to have almost 200 species of mammals, specimens from the research collection back behind the scenes. Um, we bring them up front into the public galleries assemble them in different stations. Each station tells a different story about evolution or a different story about mammals. And one of the coolest parts about Meet the Mammals is we pick specimens that are hardy enough to be handled by the public. You can pet the things, you can handle the things, you can hold a walrus tusk, you can hold some of these skulls, you can actually get your fingers onto these specimens. And that's what we encourage people to do because most of the times you go to a museum, things are behind glass cases and you can't touch them. And when you come here to Meet the Mammals, we encourage you to touch them.